Hi, it's Marie here. Happy Monday and welcome to the Dressing Gown Diaries. So it is Bank Holiday Monday here in Ireland and it is absolutely beautiful outside. Uh, so first I want to show you something. So this is the view as I open my back door out onto my fabulous, absolutely amazing wild garden that is full of wildlife, bees and all sorts of insects and you can hear the birds singing in the background it's just the most beautiful calm space so that's a little trip to my beautiful garden but the fact is and there's a reason why of course that clip is in there uh, this time last year I still was completely conflicted about my garden and while internally I sensed that the right thing to do was to leave my garden to grow the way that nature intended. I was very much conflicted by, um, you know, what I know a garden should be like, where the lawns are all neatly mowed and all the flowers are there by choice and anything that's grown in the wrong place is considered to be a weed and has to be taken out. Um, which is, you know, thinking about it now, it's a lot of the way we treat people as well. It's like if you don't conform and if you don't look right and if you don't fit in, well, you're not going to be part of my gang or in my garden or you're not allowed to be in my family or you can't show up in my family being your natural wild self. So what happened last year, and I know I made a video about this when I was doing 3 to one uh, focus my personal journey last May, but what happened was I um, was at an event and an amazing lady, Mary Reynolds from This Is An Ark, spoke about how she started giving, uh, you know, some of her land back to nature and what happened, etc. And, you know, I know for a fact, like I could see ladybirds out there yesterday. There's bees out there the whole time. Um, I'm not great on bird watching, but I've been told my, by my daughter that there are birds out there that are quite rare at times. So I know it's a sanctuary and I actually now the conflict is gone and I love it and I can show it to you and there's no wobble inside myself. Which really gets me on to the point that I want to make today. And what was coming in yesterday very strongly was this whole thing of immunization. And I'm not going to get into putting false you know, stuff into our bodies. Um, but there is a way that we can immunize ourselves. And so we can immunize ourselves, first of all, by stopping to find, stopping finding fault with ourselves and with our environment. And a lot of the time, the voices that are causing you to find fault with yourself are the voices of people from your past who, let's be honest, they weren't very nice to you in the first place. And often the reason they were finding fault with you was because they were jealous of you or they were threatened by you. And they needed to do something to knock you down because they didn't feel good about themselves. And I had to have a very honest conversation with myself about it in the last three days, a lot to do with my body and remarks that were made about me, both as a child and as an adult, um, that actually were not true. But they've caused me, now that I've cleared so many other things out of the way, they've caused certain behaviors in me so that I can find evidence of things to find fault with myself, if that makes any sense. So as regards immunizing ourselves, what's come in really strongly to me in the last 24 hours is the first thing you can do is, you know, anything that makes you feel happy and joyful, um, do those things. Because once your heart is happy, you're going to be healthier. And, you know, they can see from Caribbean photography that when your heart is happy and when your head is in a good place, that your energy field is much bigger and much stronger and that is our immunity you know uh, another thing is gratitude you know write down 10 things every day that you're grateful for and it does take a bit of time to work past three a lot of the time but you'll start to do it and your mind will get used to doing that and that again will fill your heart with joy you'll feel so much more blessed and that will boost your immune system another great way to boost your immune system is meditation so you know if you haven't been meditating Find yourself a little meditation. I'll leave one below this because that's an element of the three, two, one focus. And it is, is another brilliant way to boost your immune system. And the obvious way to, to boost your immune system is use your food as medicine. So reduce your caffeine and your sugar and your alcohol. And then eat really good foods and eat regularly, you know, so 
get nuts and fruit and stuff as your treats. Uh, but start to buy as much organic as you can and make sure you get plenty of onions and garlic and those kind of um, vegetables into you. Now, I'm not a nutritionist. That's just coming in the way it's coming in. But I know myself that when you eat well, uh, it definitely uh, boosts your immune system. Because if you think about it from a logical point of view, a builder goes out there to build the best house they can with the very best uh, raw materials that they can afford. So it's the same thing with our bodies. You know, our bodies are built up of all the minerals and vitamins that we put into them every day and all the nutrients. So the better the nutrients that we can afford and the better the nutrients that we allow ourselves to have, um, that's going to mean that your body is going to be so much better off. And a thing that I've had to work on is this idea of paying that bit extra for the organic. When you think about it, like a bar of chocolate is one year or 20. Why do you fight with yourself about the price of some vegetable being like 40 cents more? Like, come on, let's cop on to ourselves. That's just all thinking that's not doing us any good. So look, that were, that's just my thoughts on um, immunizing ourselves, you know. Uh, yeah, it's all about the joy and all about nurturing ourselves. So I hope that helps somebody today. I'm going to really quickly pick a card here. Um, right. There you go. Love is my magic. And how true that is and I know I'm always saying it but when you do everything with love it really does feel different and doesn't that kind of sum up everything I've been saying and actually to sum up um, you know sit down when you get a chance get a pen and paper out I'm a great one for writing things down it really helps clear the mind and write down the ways that you can actually immunize yourself and build up your own immune system so that you're healthy and stronger and then just pick one thing from that list for this week and implement that every day for yourself whether it's eating you know a little bit better or even just reducing your sugar intake by a bit um but just pick something whether it's a meditation something you're going to do for yourself some one little thing because remember and i know i'm always saying this as well it's like a ship leaving um, a port only has to change the course by one degree to be in a completely different um, situation and position six months out. So look, where we are, have a fabulous day and I look forward to seeing you in another video again soon. Take care, bye.